John and I are on the Celebrity Apex cruise ship and friends of ours are in an inside cabin on this cruise with us and they are graciously letting us record their cabin. I'm gonna take you in and show you around. Here we go. Hello everybody, Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. They're in cabin 10-163 on deck 10. Here's a look at the hallway. So these are the balcony cabins over here. And this is where their cabin is located. And let's take a look inside. And when you go inside, immediately to the right is your bathroom. It looks exactly like the bathroom in the veranda cabins. There's a full-size sink, some shelves below. That's where the stateroom attendant will keep your towels. There's your trash can under there, some extra tissues. There's a drawer underneath the sink, and that's where your blow dryer is, and there's some storage space for you. On either side of the sink, there are three shelves. They give you a box of tissues a full-size container of body wash. There's your hand towels and your washcloths and three shelves over there, as you can see. There's your commode and your shower. Shower is awesome because it has this bubble door that opens out. Shower is super simple, two knobs. One is for temperature and the other is for on off. Is a basket for your own toiletries or some bar soap if you'd like to bring. Your shower gel, shampoo, and conditioner. And your stateroom attendant will refill those as necessary. There's a bar for you to hold on to and a footrest for your shaving needs. And two hooks for hanging any wet items. And there you go, back out. Oh, there's your outlet. And you need to make sure that the power for the bathroom is on and then this switch additionally turns the outlet on and off. And two hooks on the inside of the door, hanging robes, pajamas, whatever you'd like. Just outside the bathroom is your thermostat and your room controls. You have all lights off, lights halfway, lights all the way. Oh, I just hit the lights halfway. And let's do the lights all the way on. You also have four settings, morning, evening, movie, and sleep. If you tap the sleep, it gives you 15, 20 seconds or so to get into bed as the lights slowly dim to off. The first switch here is for your bathroom and the second switch here is for all of your ceiling lights in the cabin. And just here on the back of your door is your deck plan with your assembly station information. Shows you a layout of the ship, where you are, where your assembly station is in case of an emergency, and it tells you some information about your life jackets there at the assembly stations on the apex. You have a peephole and a do not disturb deep sleep magnet. Those two sides, they mean the same thing. You want to use that when you would prefer not to be disturbed. And on into the cabin, right here past the bathroom on your right is a long closet and it opens up with three doors, lots of storage space. I love how it's kind of incognito. You can't even tell that it is a closet. I use, I utilize these spots for shoes. So when this is closed, I use all of these spaces for shoes. There's your umbrella for you to use complimentary during your cruise and your laundry bag. And then I use these other shelves for folded clothes, gym clothes, shorts, things of that nature just to give you some thoughts on what to use them for or how we use them anyway. 
This is a lovely piece of coral. I usually take it off of here and put it underneath the bedside table just to get it out of the way. And then that gives me the opportunity to be able to use this space for something else. And then further on around the corner is the rest of the closet. Now our friends still have some of their stuff hanging in the closet. It is the end of the cruise. We're changing cabins tomorrow. We're doing a back to back. So they've packed up their cabin as much as possible, but they've left some of their clothes. You can see there, there's plenty of storage space on the bottom. They've got a couple backpacks and some shoes and a short hanging section and long hanging section. It goes back there pretty good. This is your safe. It's a nice size safe. Your drawers, these are about six inches deep with a nice soft close and there are three of those. There's a long full length mirror here for you to check your look. And that does it for the storage space. It, it, it's quite a bit. It may not look like much, but it's quite a bit. On each bedside table, there is a lamp with a push button for on off. There's your remote for your TV, your phone. They give you a pad with a pen. On this side of the bed, there are two USB outlets and a regular US plug on off switch for the ceiling lights and then two very nice size shelves here next to the bed. And again, I utilize that space under there. I actually put the phone under there so that the red light doesn't bother me. And I like to have the space on the nightstand for water, my phone, things of that nature. Just a little tip, John and I have a 10 foot charging cord. So we plug one of his in and go around the back of the headboard with it so he can charge his phone because there aren't any plugs on the other side. The bed, bed is wonderful. I've never had a bad night's sleep in a celebrity bed, super comfortable, wonderful bedding. You can ask your stateroom attendant for extra pillows as they have. They have six, the bed comes with four. As a default, there's a couple different kinds of pillows you can ask for different types, firm, soft, feather of that nature. And there is your TV, you saw your remote earlier. And just past the bed, we have a desk and a full length mirror. This desk actually recesses in. So if you'd like to have this extra space, you just move your chair and the waste bucket and that slides all the way in. And you could turn your chair around there or use your chair someplace else, but it's nice to have the extra space. And then you also have a lighted full length mirror here. Let's pull this back out. And there is your waste bucket. Let's slide the chair back in. And next to that is your dresser. The white part is the refrigerator. The darker part is the dresser drawers. On top of here is your outlet box. You have a 220 volt spot for a European outlet and two US outlets and two USB ports. Some slots for your wires to come through. Because we are departing from Southampton, this was a transatlantic cruise and then we're gonna be doing a couple back to backs. But because we are in Southampton, there are a lot of British passengers. So they put a kettle in your room with a setup for tea and your stateroom attendant can replenish that for you as well. There's your room service menu. The continental breakfast is complimentary still. The rest of the room service is $9.95 per delivery plus a 20% gratuity. The lamp over here has a push button on and off. Underneath here, we have your dresser with a divider. These are about four inches deep with the nice soft clothes as well. And then the ones underneath it are about six inches deep and there are two of those. Your refrigerator is your standard refrigerator. You can ask your stateroom attendant to empty it so that you can utilize it for your own items. I just take everything that's in it out on day one, put it on top of the counter and leave them with a little note and ask them to please remove 
the mini bar items. We have a little storage slash seat. Put some things in there. You can turn it over, make it a little cushion. Looks like they may be utilizing it for their dirty laundry. That's a nice little handy thing. You can move it around the room, use it wherever you'd like. And then you've got a nice lounge, a nice chaise lounge. It's a great space. Uh, next to the bed on this side, we have three cubbies and then the same push button light. And that does it for your inside cabin on the Celebrity Apex. Let me come back and show you a full view of the cabin. It's really lovely. It is the same space as a veranda minus the veranda space. So the infinite veranda where you have the extra floor and the window. I think it's terrific. It is definitely your best priced cabin on the cruise ship. And I think I would be perfectly happy staying in one of these. And how much time do you spend in your cabin anyway? That does it for the full tour of the inside cabin on the Celebrity Apex cruise ship. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Let us know. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe with the notification bell on and follow us along. Thank you so much for watching. We truly appreciate your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day.